today's video is sponsored by LG, and after we do some of our experiments, we're gonna show you some really cool stuff from them and how it's related. Guys, it's another great day. We are here with Todd from Kuma Films. Hey, if Todd, you don't remember, you? Todd is the one who helps us out doing the super slow-mo with his amazing camera. We've done some of our coolest shots with him before, and we've got more of those to come today. A uh, little hint brought to you by Callie eating her french fries. We are going to see what happens if we cover fast food in liquid right. oxygen and then light it on fire. This might be the fastest way ever discovered to burn calories. Here's the basic idea. We've got fast food meals from three different restaurants. We're gonna soak each of them in liquid oxygen and then light them off to see which one burns the fastest and the most energetically. All right, let's fire up the oxygen tank and the liquid nitrogen condenser and make ourselves some liquid oxygen. All right, Nate, you've got a Subway sandwich there. Yes, turkey sandwich. Tomatoes, spinach, onions, banana peppers, mayo, mustard. Let's cover it in liquid oxygen, see how it looks. Now, before we do, we have three different meals. Yes. What one do you think is going to burn best? For some reason, I feel like it might be the french fries. I do too, because of the starch. grease, they're dry, they're going to soak it up really well. I think our least likely to burn is probably going to be, you got orange chicken, I think. I did orange chicken and chow mein from Panda Express. That's my guess. There we go. What if we just pour some gasoline on it too? Uh. <laughs> Look, go. Yeah! That's better! Did you want your sandwich toasted? Uh, no. I don't need it toasted yet. Yet. Huh, well that's a thing. Some of it is still frozen. Liquid oxygen is very cold. And some of it is the opposite of that. Oh, well, it's sometimes very cold. <laughs> Why is this part though? That's not cold, that's just brittle. What is happening to our turkey here? It froze it. Hey, look, I found more banana peppers. Well, I'm gonna say that... Oh, yeah, it tastes just like smoke. Shocking. I'm gonna say that a Subway sandwich isn't the best thing to burn with liquid oxygen. I actually think that the noodles are gonna do the best because there's a container yeah. that'll just actually, hold the liquid true. oxygen. Now that we've seen that, I kind of want to change, yeah, our predictions a little bit. Maybe the things with the liquid are going to burn a little bit better. We've got a Big Mac. We do. We're going to leave this Big Mac in its cardboard container because we think that will actually hold a little bit of the liquid oxygen on the sandwich. Um, we might try to just take the bun off and just soak that in the liquid oxygen yeah, as well. Yeah, with a Big Mac, you've got a bun even in the middle, so... Lots of buns. Buns. Buns, buns everywhere. Just start pouring a little bit of this on. Yeah, actually, if you want to lift that off so I can pour into the bottom layer. And I'd say hit the side of the cardboard there. Come on. Yes! Glorious! <laughs> I don't think the cardboard's gonna survive. Ooh, I see toasting inside the burger. That is a very burnt burger. Wow, that is, that's putting off a lot of heat. Charbroiled. Is that a... It's still on fire inside the burger. Prove it. That was exciting. Wow. How not to cook your burgers at a barbecue. I feel like the back of it actually burned more than the front. You see that? It burned pretty good. Nate's actually filming the video today. I'm just eating everything he's not burning. Well, for this one, we're gonna be putting liquid oxygen straight into the food. Let's see how this goes. Okay, that just looks awesome. Okay, this time I want to stand next to Todd and see what his camera is seeing. I don't even understand how you focus one of these cameras and this is, guys, this is going to be intense. That's awesome. Let's get to this pretty quick before all, right. all the liquid oxygen disappears. Here we go. I'm going to try fuse again this time. There should be plenty. Yes! Oh no, what? Hmm, that disappeared quickly. So some of it's on fire and the rest of it's frozen, and I love it all. Am 
My favorite part about this one is that the noodles didn't even slump. They all just stayed exactly in the position they were in when the bowl melted away. Noodles are not very good at burning in liquid wow. oxygen. Okay, we were both wrong. We thought the noodles were gonna hold and contain it a little bit better. Not at all. What I've learned from this today is that if I need to put out a fire, I'll just throw some Panda Express on it. Like, this is crazy. We have poured so much liquid oxygen onto this and it's just nothing. We thought that the noodles were gonna absorb some of it. We really thought that they were gonna burn well. It was hard to get oxygen really soaking up into that burger and stuff, so I figured the bread is gonna be our most sponge-like texture. So I'm gonna try just making the liquid oxygen pour directly onto a piece of the bun, see if I can really get it to soak some of it up, and see if that will burn with a little more energy than the rest of it. It does look like it's soaking it up. That's what we wanna see. It's getting heavier too, that's a good sign. Three, two, one. Well, oh. okay, that was cool. Oh. There we go. Oh, it's spreading. Hang on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Ha! One little torch there. It's burning through both sides so quickly. I'm thrilled. Is this why they say gluten is bad for you? I'm not sure why they say gluten is bad for you. Maybe it's because when you soak it in liquid oxygen, it's highly flammable. That's why gluten's bad for you. If it's you gotta eat, be the reason. If you eat gluten, you're gonna explode. I think it ate through the inside of it. Kind of did. The outside um, and we can we can do it again if we didn't get a good shot because it was yes. burning most on the back. That'll do. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it liked that. I liked it. I like it too. I think it's funny how it didn't burn up all of it. Like yeah. clearly There's the liquid oxygen got like pulled away. It's still frozen. You see that? That There's one spot. one little cold spot that is in fact cold and everything else around it is burned away. All right, we're gonna try a paper cup full of French fries. We're using the cup because I think it'll help hold the liquid oxygen. I'm not sure how much fries absorb it. Okay, liquid oxygen into French fries. <laughs> Although I don't think the fries themselves are actually gonna burn at all. Are you just filling a cup full of liquid oxygen? Pretty much. Cool, I like it. This is not how you're supposed to put a fuse in anything. You also shouldn't do it while the liquid oxygen is still happening. You also shouldn't get your hand this close to the liquid oxygen. Everything I'm doing. Many don't, points. Don't do any of what I'm doing. So I think the <laughs> paper is going to burn. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think the French fries are actually going to burn. Here. I don't think so. Like, they're too frozen now. Even the grease in them at this point. Uh, they just don't absorb much liquid. Really don't. However, that cup is full of liquid oxygen. <laughs> that worked a lot better than I thought it would. You were saying? What was uh, that? Well, so what? here's the thing. <laughs> I, uh, I did a test, a small scale test off camera where I took a single french fry and soaked it in liquid oxygen, and I couldn't get that french fry to light on fire. But it turns out there's a big difference between a fry that has been soaked in liquid oxygen and fries that are Submerged. currently in a bath of liquid oxygen. French fries don't like to burn. Liquid oxygen really likes to make things burn, though, and so the liquid oxygen won out. Lone french fry, pretty much nothing. French fries in a cup, swimming in a cup of liquid oxygen. Boy, does that work great. This was a success right Absolutely. there. That's all we needed. That was Absolutely. it. Absolutely. We can go home happy. I think we need to check out some of this footage on a big screen. We've got our slow-mo footage playing, and we've got two different televisions that we're going to see. We're going to be comparing the two to see which one we think looks the best. Now, we actually have a 4K TV and an 8K TV here playing at the same time. So we're gonna see if we can figure out which is which and which we like better. We should also point out that one is an LG TV and the other is a Samsung TV. Well, first off, that looks pale. I mean, that brightness settings aside, but there, there is this like grid 
mm -hmm. sort of showing up in, well now it's moving a lot faster, oh, but, but like in the middle of the flames there. there was, yeah, like there was a grid sort of appearing. Some parts look really clean and crisp and then mm -hmm. some parts it's yeah. just as the flame is moving. So my initial, you know, reaction here would be that this is the 8K. Those lines are crisp, they're smooth, and there you can see the separation of the smoke and the flame, and that's, that's just bizarrely cool. This TV on the right is yeah. actually our 8K TV. This is the one that we are having a lot of grid lines showing. The, the fire looked like it was comprised of tiny Wait. little screens half a This was 4K and this it was looking 4K. better. This is 4K. Okay, awesome. And this is the one that it calls itself 8K. It's actually sort of a simulated 8K um, by way of an offset of 4K against another 4K. And you start to get some issues with that. I think it showed up better in the fire, but this is a static image that plays it uh, reliably. You can see- There's like a mesh. There's vertical at. lines just running all the way down. So this image is actually comprised just of vertical lines, lighter and darker, very, very small ones. But because of how the sort of simulated 8K works, there's something that goes wrong and I think they like double up in spots or something that's causing all of these lines running up and down the whole thing. We can also take a digital magnifier which allows us to see this mosquito net effect more clearly. Additionally, those blurry lines we were seeing before are called low contrast modulation, which tells us that this simulated 8K on this Samsung screen is actually not up to international standards. When we pull up the footage of the fire, we can see the same thing. Like Nate was saying, you know, we could see that grid it was really, really distracting. Now this, this makes sense. Now I understand why I'm seeing that difference. So I want to see this exact same image on the other TV. That is what it's supposed to look like, I believe. So just flat gray screen and... This can't be the same image. It's the 4K version of the same image. It's just flat. If you get really close, you can see it is still just lines. Dark line, white line, dark line, white line all the way across. Okay, okay, But you yes. have to be two feet away before you can even yeah, see Yeah, I'm that. never gonna watch my TV from here. Right, so with this image, that's the goal, is it should just look gray, unless you're really close and yeah, can see black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white. On the 8K, because of how it's artificially produced, you end up with those vertical lines that look like, you know, binder paper or something like that yeah. showing up. All right, overall, yeah. I gotta say, I think that the true 4K is winning out over our, what they call 8K, but- It's 8K. Has some issues that show up, definitely. Mm -hmm. So although the 8K TV claims to have better resolution and image quality, it doesn't actually have the capacity to show a true 8K image. And thank you so much to Todd from Kuma Films. You got some amazing footage today. Thank it you was, for having me. It was so cool to see all these screens. That yeah, was amazing. That was way fun. Guys, if you haven't seen Kuma Film stuff, Go check out his channel. Do you have an Instagram? Uh, it's just Kuma Films as well. Kuma Films, check that out. We'll put a link for that in the description as well. Coming out. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic work as always. So glad to yeah, have it you. Fun. It was a lot of fun. Thank you. That's it for today, guys. Click up there to watch our most recent video and we will see you in the next one. Talk to you then.